Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, August 9th, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, it's Microsoft Patch Tuesday, so of course we do have uh, to start here with uh, Microsoft's patches that were released uh, today. 88 vulnerabilities being addressed, which includes the Chromium vulnerabilities. Six of these are critical and two are already being exploited. A third one is not exploited, but has been made public already. The most interesting part here is an advisory, actually not a patch that Microsoft released, advisory 230003. And this is in relation to CVE 2023-36. 88.4. This vulnerability was uh, mentioned in last month's uh, Microsoft uh, updates, but no patch was provided. Instead, Microsoft did offer a number of workarounds. Microsoft now, first of all, gave us more details. Uh, this uh, particular vulnerability is related to the Windows search feature. And yes, uh, as sort of expected uh, back uh, in July, this is related to the mark of the web where essentially an attacker could trick a user to open a document and there would be no warning that this uh, executable uh, was actually downloaded from the internet. We still don't really have a patch for this, instead an advisory 230003. This advisory just breaks the exploit change chain, as it states here uh, in the advisory. Uh, not exactly sure what exactly it uh, blocks here. So uh, without knowing that, it's also, of course, hard to assess if this could possibly be uh, bypassed. Again, uh, do apply these patches. They're actively being exploited by what Microsoft calls the Storm 0978 crew. Then in exploited vulnerabilities, we do have a denial of service vulnerability in .NET Visual Studio. Apparently, uh, this affects uh, the Kestrel web server that is being included uh, with uh, .NET. So definitely something that you do want to patch because it could affect availability of your web server. And the vulnerability that's uh, already publicly known but hasn't been exploited yet is actually again an advisory 230004 and it affects the memory integrity system readiness scan tool. Apparently uh, there was a resource section missing in the tool that caused uh, some sort of compatibility issues with drivers that has uh, been addressed here. Other notable vulnerabilities, there are two critical vulnerabilities in Microsoft Teams that could be exploited by essentially tricking a user to join a malicious meeting. This does not just affect Windows, it also affects Teams on macOS, iOS, Android. Then we have a number of vulnerabilities being addressed in Microsoft's message queue implementation. Three of these vulnerabilities allow for remote code execution. And then uh, we also have an update for Outlook that's marked as critical. Again, a, crit a remote code execution vulnerability here. It does, however, require some user interaction apparently here because a user does have to open a specially crafted malicious file. I have to look at it closer, but I think the number of uh, vulnerabilities being patched is actually a little bit sort of below average here, but uh, still uh, some uh, critical vulnerabilities that you probably should address quickly, uh, which means uh, just, well, apply uh, the patch. And yes, we also got updates from Adobe. Uh, two products here I want to focus on because they are usually the ones that uh, I'm most concerned about here. One, Adobe Acrobat and Reader. Nothing too terribly exciting here. The vulnerability with the highest CVS score, which is 8.6, is a security feature a bypass. Now, where it gets a little bit more interesting is Adobe Commerce. Uh, with Adobe Commerce, uh, we do have one remote code execution vulnerability with a CVS score of 9.1, rated as critical. And then uh, to important vulnerability, a 
vulnerabilities approach escalation and an arbitrary file system read vulnerability. But given the code execution vulnerability, and it states here improper neutralization of special elements used in OS commands, so basically an OS command injection vulnerability, well, you definitely want to address this. Uh, this is sort of the type of vulnerability that you'll likely see exploited, even though Adobe only gives it a priority rating of uh, Three, which uh, I'm not quite sure I agree with in this case, because according to Adobe, this means that this product that is being patched here has historically not been a target for attackers. We have definitely seen a lot of attacks against Adobe Commerce. Well, and that's it for today. So sorry, lots of patches, get them done and get them fixed. Uh, maybe we'll have more tomorrow because typically uh, there is sort of a little bit uh, an afterglow in patches being released on Patch Tuesday. That's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.